Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a developer advocate at Strapi. Today, I'd like to talk to you about getting more free time with Strapi Cloud and Vercel. First, I want to talk about my Strapi story, the problem we encountered, and how Strapi Cloud could have been our solution. I'm also going to talk about why I chose Next.js with Strapi for our Strapi starter. And then I will give you my final thoughts. When I was working on my second job as a developer, I was still fairly new and our company wanted to build a new product. But all of our full stack engineers were busy working on the main service. They didn't have the time to build this new idea. We didn't have the resources. We didn't have the bandwidth. But as a front-end developer, I used Strapi in the past before. So I asked the team if I could use Strapi to bootstrap our API, which comes with a fully functional admin panel to create our POC. Our team really liked what I have created and allowed me to make the MVP, which led to getting users onto the project fast, testing, iterating, and continuing the development. Strapi empowered us to go to market faster. It allowed a smaller team with less experience developers to move fast, iterate, and deliver the product to market faster with shorter development time. But we still had a problem. And the problem was anytime there was an issue with deployment, I still had to reach out to a senior engineer and take him away from other important tasks because managing a deployment process was literally someone's full-time job. In some cases, it makes sense to have a self-hosted solution, but depending on your team size, your budget constraint, and your deadlines, it's just a luxury that you cannot afford. And in our case, having something like Strapi Cloud would have been a great solution. Instead of us having to worry about deployment, Strapi Cloud would do the heavy lifting. It would free us up from dealing with the deployment associated headaches and focus on building cool products for our customers. You're able to deploy your project in minutes, manage multiple projects in one place, your database and file storage is included, and now you're able to manage data with our transfer functionality. Why did we decide to use Next and Strapi for our Strapi starter? Because for many developers and smaller teams, dealing with deployment issues is a headache that they don't want to have. So using Strapi Cloud, which allows you to deploy your Strapi application to production easily, Vercel does the same thing for Next.js. So by combining both those two technologies, not only are you able to decrease your development time, but you're also able to not have to worry about deployment, allowing you to focus more on building projects for your customers. By combining Strapi and Next.js, you're able to get the best of both technologies. Now let's take a look at Next.js specifically and let me share with you my favorite Next.js 13 features that make it an awesome choice to work with Strapi. Firstly, I wanna talk about nested routing, pages and layouts. The file-based routing in Next.js, it's amazing and allows you to create nested routes with these, but also allows you to create nested layouts would allow you to share UI with many pages. Let's take a look at an example. Here we could see our dynamic route whose layout is controlled by the layout.tsx file. That displays this following view. We have our layout which contains our right navigation and on the left we see our single post view. If we take a look at the layout.tsx file, we will see that we have our article select, which is our side menu. If you take a closer look, you could see that we have a function called fetch side menu data that will get the data to display for the categories and the articles within that category. What's awesome, the layout is responsible for fetching its own data for article select. You could see this children prop, and this is what will render our page.tsx file or any additional nested routes within this layout. If we take a look at our page.tsx file, we could see here that it calls a function get post by slug that will make a fetch request to our strappy backend. What I like about this is that each individual page is responsible for its own data. Page.tsx file is only responsible for the post by slug, where our layout.tsx is only responsible for populating our article select. 
I think that's pretty cool. The next improvement is the way Next.js now handles data fetching. With server components, it is a breeze. All you do is you define a function, and here we have a function called getPostBySlug, which basically makes a fetch request to our Strapi API. Then in our post route component, we just put a sync in front of it and await our get post by slug call, which makes data loading super easy and greatly simplifies the data fetching process, which makes it very convenient way to get your data from your Strapi API. Now, sometimes whenever something goes wrong in your app, your app just breaks. What's awesome with Next 13 is that you're able to easily add error boundaries to the routes. So in this case, we created error.tsx file, which will catch any error thrown in this route segment. So here in our get post by slug function, whenever there's an error and it gets thrown, it gets caught within the error boundary within our error.tsx file, which allows us to fail gracefully. So instead of breaking all of our apps, we're able to display an error message just on that specific route segment, which leads to a better UI experience. I'm talking way too much about Next.js 13 because it's pretty awesome. But what's even more awesome is how editors could control their content with dynamic zones and component. As you could see here on the screen, you're able to make a dynamic zones, which consists of multiple components. And on the right, you could see how an editor could move things around, navigate, and pick choose only the components that they would like to use. And each component represents a different section of this layout. Taking a look at this example, on the left, we have a Strapi Hero component that we created within Strapi. We also created that same component within Next.js to render its data. Next, we created a section rendering function which basically will take all the different components that we have available at Strapi that we mapped to our next JS. Whenever we make an API call, we use the section renderer to iterate through the response. And whenever we match the component that exists within that dynamic zone that an editor had selected, we render it here to screen, thus dynamically creating this awesome layout. In the previous talk, Richard talked about populate and filtering. Here's an example within our get post by slug, we're passing our populate params from our front end. But maybe the front end should not be responsible for this. What if you could populate your data via route middleware? And yes, you can do that. So here in our Strapi backend for our page content type, we created a middleware called page populate middleware. Here you could see that we're passing all the params within the middleware, which will make the request and only return the data that we asked for. What's awesome, this is handled on the back end. In order to hook this up, we would need to add the middleware to our routes. So within our routes inside the page.js file, here we could see within the config, we're adding our middleware to our find and find one method. So whenever it makes a call to our pages route to find or find one, it will go through this middleware, pre-populating all our data from our backend, which is cool because within our Next.js frontend, we no longer need to pass those populate params, which allows you to have a much nicer, cleaner experience, especially if you know the data you're expecting. If you wanna see some of the examples that I mentioned in this talk, you can check out the startup project on GitHub. In closing thoughts, what I wanted to say is that by using Vercel and Strapi Cloud, you are able to easily deploy your application. And that is why I ended up talking more about Next.js specifically and some of the features that I like and Strapi itself. Because at the end of the day, the deployment will be done for you with Strapi Cloud and Vercel. And instead of worrying about that piece of your project, you literally are worrying about building the cool features for your clients. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I will see you next time. <music>